Yo, everybody, I know this is going to sound crazy, but the perfect storm is here. I have noticed that when it's a little bit humid, that the silencers tend to sound like better overall. So as you know, when I do sound testing, I like using a sealed system like the bolt action. However, today with this little bit of rain, I'm thinking we can do some 16 inch gas gun testing to really put a handful of my favorite silencers head to head just to see how they would perform in the ideal storm. And the ideal storm is it's currently raining. It's a light drizzle. One, two, it's very cold and well, very cold for me relative to Arizona. It's 57 degrees and two, I'm going to tune the gas for each silencer so that we have just the right amount of gas back pressure to slow down the bolt carrier from leaking out extra gas rearward under live fire. So without beating around the bush, I've got a handful of silencers with me today, kind of a lot. Let's get through as much as we can while it's raining. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe. It really does go a long way. The hype button also does super support the channel. Guys, I appreciate you. Let's get into it. That was tolerable. I feel like I could do that. Oh, by the way, I should make mention, Previously, I wasn't using their mount and their adapter. Now I am, and it does seem to make a difference. That was ridiculously quiet. Like, that was almost like bolt gun quiet. You know, I would say that that wasn't quite as good as the SIG, but it was very close. That was a little bit louder, but it sounded so deep. I would say that was also totally pleasant. Ouch! Not doing that again. That was really good. I don't know if it was as quiet as the SIG, but it was so deep in its sound, that was like really good. That sounds equal to the roadie, like really, really good and deep. That was pushing it. I would say it was still okay, but it was pushing it for comfortable. That was really good too. This is a high back pressure, so I choked off the gas a bunch, but that sounded really good. That was kind of rough. That was a little bit on the loud side. You know, in the past, I've not given this guy a ton of attention. He does okay, but that was actually pretty decent, probably because of the choke off and the rain. It really wasn't too bad. That rang me just a little bit, but again, I think because of the rain, I mean, it just wasn't so bad today. Yeah, I feel like I'm in an episode of Jackass. It was loud, it was deep, it doesn't compete with some of the other ones. That wasn't bad, especially the gas is choked all the way off because it's a high back pressure. That really wasn't bad. That sounds really good. That was up there with like the best of them. I think because A, the rain, B, we choked it down so much that like it barely, some of these are going click and I'm like cycling out because I'm tuning the gas down so low that it's like it's cycling but just barely typically that rings my bell today it rang my bell a little that was crazy good uh, up there with the best of them choking the gas down rain and just like great sounding suppressor that rang my bell that was kind of loud today that wasn't bad. I'm not as impressed as some of the other more full-size suppressors. I wish they had sent me the L. It probably would have been a better comparison. That was stupid quiet. That doesn't sound like a gun. That was loud. It was deep, but it was loud. I, I'm not doing that again. That was definitely a lot better, but still kind of pushing it. Yeah, that was pushing it. That was loud, but deep. I would call that tolerable. That was surprisingly tolerable. That was like really, really good. I still got slapped in the face with back pressure, but that sounded incredibly good. I wonder if I can choke it down all the way to the ridiculous point, see what happens. It does sound just a little bit better choking off that gas, kind of proving the concept that choking off gas for this test is proving to be very beneficial. And the rain is allowing me to do a little bit like more intense testing than my ears can usually tolerate. So this has turned out to be a fun experiment. I am learning that the Tiger 22, I've always known as high as back pressure, but it's like crazy high in back pressure. So in like the 1022s and you know, the bolt guns, it's great. And the gas guns, you really have to choke off a ton of back pressure to reap the rewards of how quiet this little 22 can is. I'm gonna do some other 22 cans that I probably shouldn't do, but let's see what happens. 
you know, that sounded really good. It might have even sounded better than the BNT because it had such a deep pitch to it, which is weird because that BNT sounds like crazy good on everything I put it on. This guy sounds okay by comparison, but I guess when it comes to 5.56, five, this one shines just a little bit better. Okay, now this is the Huxworks 22 suppressor, and I did ask them if I could do 5.56, five, and they said absolutely not. Well, let's see what happens. It worked. I hope I didn't do any damage. Well, the bullet went down range where I thought it would go. I don't see any damage. When I asked if I could do the Huxworks 22 suppressor, their answer was absolutely not. It's not rated for that. You'll void your warranty, blah, blah, blah. But I decided I want to do it anyways. It kicked a lot of sparks out of this thing downrange. I mean, it is kind of dark out with the cloud coverage and rain. Um, but it was almost tolerable to the ears. I'm not going to say it quite kept up with the BNT or the Off Grid Army 22 suppressor. But I mean, at least it worked for one round. I know that much. I'm not saying you should do this at home. Don't do this at home. You're not supposed to do it. All right, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate you. See you in the comments.